Ever wondered what your great-grandparents ate for lunch? Get ready for a mouth-watering trip through time as we uncover America's forgotten sandwiches. From Depression-era creativity to post-war convenience, these long-lost recipes might just inspire your next meal. Stay tuned for a tasty slice of history. Born from necessity during the Great Depression, the mock chicken sandwich exemplifies the resourcefulness of Americans facing economic hardship. With meat and poultry beyond the means of many, people turn to creative alternatives using available ingredients. This sandwich's filling consisted of an economical blend, finely diced tomatoes, a beet pickled egg, cheese, onion, and herbs, seasoned with salt and pepper, and bound with butter. The mixture was cooked and served between two slices of bread, offering a flavorful and satisfying meal that suited the demanding lifestyles of the time. Despite its humble origins, the mock chicken sandwich stood out among Depression-era fare for its appealing taste. It provided a welcome respite from the often bland and repetitive diet many endured. However, its popularity was tied to scarcity. Once chicken became widely available again, people eagerly returned to authentic poultry sandwiches, relegating the mock version to culinary history. To call the bacon and peanut butter sandwich merely amazing might be an understatement. This unlikely combination creates an addictive flavor profile that defies expectations. Despite its unconventional pairing, the sandwich gained immense popularity in the 1950s and 60s, thanks to its simplicity and deliciousness. The recipe is straightforward. Spread peanut butter on bread, add banana slices, and crispy bacon strips. This combination not only satisfies taste buds, but also provides a nutritional punch to fuel you through demanding days. For those willing to explore unique flavor combinations, it's worth trying. Adventurous eaters might even enhance the experience by adding ketchup or incorporating caramelized onions with the bacon. Despite its decline in mainstream popularity, this sandwich continues to win over new fans with its bold flavors. The mock ham salad sandwich emerged as a clever solution for those times when you had all the fixings for a ham sandwich, except the ham itself. Its popularity in the 1950s stemmed from three key factors, ease of preparation, readily available and affordable ingredients, and surprisingly good taste. The recipe called for simple ingredients, ground bologna, finely chopped hard-boiled eggs, diced onions, minced sweet pickles, and mayonnaise. These components were mixed in a bowl, chilled, and then spread generously between sandwich buns. The mock ham salad sandwich was more than just a make-do option. It was a satisfying treat in its own right. However, as meat became more accessible and affordable over time, the practical need for such substitutes diminished. Consequently, people began opting for real ham sandwiches, and this once popular creation gradually faded from common use. Despite its decline, the mock ham salad sandwich remains a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of home cooks in making the most of available resources. The Fried Spam Sandwich, a wartime staple. World War II brought challenging times, with food scarcity making quality nutrition hard to come by. This created the perfect environment for Spam's popularity to soar following its 1937 launch. Spam's affordability, long shelf life, and ease of preparation made it an ideal protein source for many households, leading to its incorporation in numerous recipes. Among these, the Spam sandwich emerged as a standout favorite. The basic recipe called for grilled Spam and a slice of cheese, topped with mustard or mayonnaise, all served on toasted bread. The Spam sandwich epitomized practicality during its heyday. However, as post-war hardships eased and meat became more readily available, this once essential food quickly lost its prominence in many households. Despite its decline, variations of the Spam sandwich continue to be enjoyed worldwide. Its enduring presence in some culinary circles speaks to both its historical significance and its unique flavor profile. The Head Cheese Sandwich, a gourmet delight of yesteryear. Among the sandwiches on our list, the Head Cheese Sandwich stands out as perhaps the most refined offering. Hog's Head Cheese, a delicacy in its own right, might seem an unlikely sandwich filling, yet it became a popular choice in the 20th century. 
particularly in the American South. The star ingredient, a cold cut made from pressed and cooked pig parts, was complemented by creamy mayonnaise, zesty mustard, and tangy pickles, creating a complex flavor profile that appealed to discerning palates. The Creamed Corn Sandwich, a simple lunchtime classic. This unpretentious sandwich once held a special place in the hearts of many. At its core, it's a straightforward creation, a filling of creamed sweet corn kernels nestled between two slices of bread. The preparation was equally simple. Spread some cheese on buttered bread, add the creamed corn, sprinkle in your choice of vegetables and herbs. In its heyday, the creamed corn sandwich was the ideal companion for long school days or hectic work schedules. However, as culinary preferences evolved over time, this once beloved sandwich gradually fell out of favor. Despite its decline in mainstream popularity, it still maintains a following among those with a taste for nostalgia. It has also found a niche among some vegetarians who appreciate its meat-free composition, though these fans typically prepare it at home rather than finding it in restaurants. While not the lightest option, the pimiento cheese sandwich offers a delicious and simple solution for those seeking a satisfying cheese-based snack. This American classic evokes nostalgia for many and reflects the rising importance of cheese in early 20th century American cuisine. The beauty of this sandwich lies in its simplicity. The spread consists of just a few ingredients, mayonnaise, warm milk, shredded cheddar, and pimiento peppers all combined and generously applied to fresh bread. Though it originated in the North, the sandwich we know today flourished in the South, thanks to the region's abundant pimento pepper crops. Over time, changing tastes and the rise of convenience foods led to a decline in the sandwich's popularity. However, it remains a beloved staple in many households. The versatile pimento cheese spread is key to its enduring appeal, serving not only as a sandwich filling, but also as a side dish or a flavorful topping for burgers at barbecues. While the pimento cheese sandwich may have lost some of its former ubiquity, it persists as a cherished snack, much like the next sandwich on our list. The Deviled Ham Sandwich, a spicy 19th century favorite. The deviled ham sandwich first captured American taste buds in the late 1800s. Its key component, the zesty deviled ham spread, gained immense popularity in the 1860s due to its impressive shelf life and robust flavor profile. Despite its appeal, this sandwich required considerable preparation. The recipe called for a blend of ground ham, mayonnaise, yellow mustard, minced garlic and onions, black pepper, paprika, and a touch of celery salt. After thorough mixing, the spread needed to rest for two to three hours before it was ready to serve. The deviled ham sandwich thrived in an era when sandwiches were primarily homemade meals rather than quick convenience foods. Its popularity peaked when people had more time for elaborate food preparation at home. However, as lifestyles accelerated and dining habits shifted towards faster options, the deviled ham sandwich gradually disappeared from American tables and, subsequently, from culinary consciousness. The Cold Meat Loaf Sandwich, a taste of nostalgic comfort. If nostalgia had a flavor, it might well be the Cold Meat Loaf Sandwich. This southern creation embodies comfort food at its finest, with a unique quality of improving in taste as it sits. Each bite into the toasty meat and melted cheese combination evokes the warmth of a loving embrace a culinary time machine to days gone by. During its peak popularity in the 1950s and 60s, this sandwich captivated taste buds with its rich medley of contrasting flavors. While balancing the ingredients could be somewhat challenging, the basic preparation was straightforward. The essential components included turkey meatloaf, white bread, butter, cheese, and a touch of mayonnaise. For those seeking an extra kick, Additional toppings like ketchup, tomatoes, hot sauce, or bacon strips could be added to taste. Despite its initial popularity, the cold meatloaf sandwich gradually fell out of favor as sandwiches transitioned into fast food territory and simpler recipes gained traction. And there you have it, folks. A delicious journey through some of America's forgotten sandwich classics. From Depression-era ingenuity to post-war convenience, these sandwiches tell the story of our nation's culinary evolution.
While many of these creations have faded from popular menus, they remain a tasty slice of history. Maybe you'll feel inspired to revive one of these vintage recipes in your own kitchen. Who knows? You might discover a new favorite or rediscover an old family tradition. If you enjoyed this trip down sandwich memory lane, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more food history and forgotten recipes. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. What's your favorite old school sandwich? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for other forgotten foods you'd like us to explore, we'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep those taste buds curious and your bread slices ready.